splash, splash text there. Oh no, yes, press FX, splash, splash, splash. So we'll just add. There you go, you've got a little splash bit here. can go and duplicate that, oh no, that didn't quite work, duplicate that so there's another splash, turn M, um, M for the markers to turn off, as you can see it's added a little bit more detail there, obviously we want to add more, so do do do, drip splash, let's just see what this is like, yeah that just adds some drips, that's okay that's handy. Handy dandy, as they say. So what you want to go and do is just go through and add a variety of uh, different textures, animations, ambient bits. Um, we could type waterfall in again, see if that comes up with anything in here. And obviously here you go, if you type waterfall in and go to all, you've got a long list of what you can add. Yeah, waterfall mist blast, let's add one here. Okay, that's not quite where I wanted it. If you can't select the item you want, you just have to go into this list. There you go, and select it. That's our mist. As you can see, just there. Maybe that's a bit too powerful. So I'm just going to go and delete that. Skirt. Ah, yes, this is just to sort of um, usually goes at the top. You can use it to um, hide certain aspects of the waterfall, as it were, and just give it a bit more texture. Let's just go and place this up here. see what it looks like with the FX maybe just ooh, turn it around a little bit as you can see it's sort of water flowing the wrong way Scale it down a bit more if it will let me. Raise it up. I'm just going to put it there so it sort of sp looks like it's uh, spraying almost a bit too much. So, yeah, that's what the thing you, you need to get all different angles because it may look fine at one angle but it will be completely wrong at another angle. Now, what we want, we want. Uh, da, da, da. Mist blast got thin. Do, do, do. Thin spray. Ideally, what we want to do, we want to add spray and mists to these areas just to sort of hide them slightly. Uh, and um, oh, where's that one gone? Yeah, just 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 to add mists, make it a little more believable. Mm. 
Go through this list, and all we can see in the cell view is everything we've added thus far. Heavy water, heavy water, large clothes. Do -do -do. And it should be somewhere. There we go, that's the one we want. See the little sprays there. Oh, it's not too bright, is it? You can't really see it. I'm just going to go and add that there. Turn the lights on. And as you can already see, it's added a couple of textures to the bottoms, but we still need sort of mist and spray textures because when you come to a waterfall, especially indoors, it, it's going to have um, a mist to it. So, do do do. But as we're here, we might as well just add some ambient sounds. So I'm just going to go and add ambient waterfall large. And sort of move it about slightly. So it's these are the sound markers. So the, this is what you'll hear if it will just work for me. So the sounds you hear in, in adding more ambience. I would have added it to the ambience tutorial, but I think it deserves its own due to. Um, the nature of what we're doing. Uh, List and close popped up and uh, I'm going to add a rapids one there just as well. And maybe just raise this one up. And now you should, with, I'm going to add, let that splatter one go, dungeon splatter medium, yeah let's go and add this one, just put that one there, maybe just have it like that. To do it. obviously to get the uh, sounds you just go to audio and I'll just gonna put in water see what it comes up with river water valley distance I'm just gonna add some water markers for when you're going through the uh, cave water small quiet Let's just add, let's go in and drag and drop. Didn't quite work. You just go in and add some water, uh, sounds for the water. Just add, add a couple to your level. So it's not just the acoustics you're listening to. Oh. I've done that spray wrong, I'll go and correct it in a second, I've just noticed. Most of it most of it's just trial and error in, in these uh, creation kits. That's where I sort of learnt from. Sort of uh, spent a very long weekend just going through things, still finding out new things here and there, but you know it's a learning curve. You'll get there eventually.
and you just go through and add as much uh, detail as you can adding water adding sounds to the water adding details um, to the waterfall and uh, you just fiddle about and do as you want and be as creative as you want really that's the aim of the game now I'm just going to write, oh that's not the right one problem when you start putting loads of stuff in when you're trying to move one single object it can get a bit tedious because uh, everything else seems just to get in the way and there we go that's what we need I was going to go ahead and place that over our waterfall scale it down so it fits drag it down, put it in place, make sure it's in the right place maybe just um, tilt it slightly if I will let me which apparently it won't Fantastic. Oh yes it will. It's right at the back. Let's go. Oh. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, as you can see it's come to the side a bit there. Uh, let's see what we can do to adjust that. Maybe just oh no. Let's undo to put it back where it was. And it's just added a bit more life there. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and stop this video for now and add a bit, a few boulders, um, and cover it up a bit, and then I'll be back quickly to show you what it looks like in game. So I'll see you in a few. Hello, Hello. welcome back. And now I've loaded up the game and made a few edits. I'm just going to C O C A A A test dungeon. That'd take us right there. And hopefully we can see what we've uh, added. I've added a few boulders, a few more mists here and there, just to give it a bit more depth. As you can see, it's almost pitch black in here. Maybe it's just my settings. I'm not too sure. But I'm just going to go ahead and get the torch. As you can see, you can hear the water. And already that looks far better, just adding some water there. As we wander through into the main hall, obviously it gets louder because of the waterfall, but that's to be expected. And I've put the... Um, rocks on either side and up down here as well just to sort of make it look more natural and, and make it look like the waterfall is guided down this way sort of down here and here and you can see I've added the effect for the splatter and you can see all the misty effects that come along with having a waterfall I'm really enjoying this E and B actually it's sort of really made a difference as you can see here everything just looks so much crisper and more detailed so yes this has been the water tutorial adding an extra layer to the dungeon I personally think it looks great um, so for the next tutorial 
we shall be going over oh I'm not too sure I think I'll surprise you with what we'll be doing <laughs> either way I'll get it all done eventually so thank you for watching I am Dagnus and I hope to see you again and if you like what we've seen please subscribe thank you very much